Here we are in chapter 1.5 of our book. We haven't uh, gotten to chapter 2 yet in some sense, so we don't know about derivatives. But if you do know about derivatives by some lucky happenstance, let's think about how continuity from chapter 1.5 relates to derivatives. Uh, if, is continuity enough to guarantee that a function has a derivative everywhere? Um, can you draw a function that's continuous but not differentiable at least at one point? And let's think backwards. If you know a function is differentiable, does that guarantee that it's continuous? Can it have a different? Can it have a derivative everywhere, but have a discontinuity somewhere? So one quick thing to think about here is absolute value of x. What does that look like? Something like this. It is continuous, but it doesn't have a derivative at the origin. So just being continuous is not enough to guarantee differentiable everywhere. So we'll put a nope there. Can you draw a differentiable function that's not continuous? It turns out that's not possible. Every differentiable function is guaranteed to be continuous. So we'll say, yes, that's true. Uh, and we can't even draw a counterexample. Um, is, uh, we, we like continuous functions because they're nice, right? Their limits exist. Um, we also like differentiable functions because they're nice. Um, uh, what, can, what else can we say about that? Uh, absolute value of x is continuous, but it's not differentiable. Um, there's this other word called smooth, which is that the derivative exists and is continuous. Um, so the derivative function is continuous, at least. There's, that's kind of first order smooth, that the first derivative is continuous. Um, so absolute value of x, let's try this again, is continuous but not smooth. Um, it's also not differentiable. Um, what else can we draw about um, things that might be uh, continuous, it drew, um, might be continuous and differentiable but not smooth or other important examples. Let's consider f of x equals x squared if x is bigger than or equal to zero and negative x squared if x is less than zero. Let's draw that. It's an ordinary smiley parabola on this side of zero. It's a frowny parabola on the other side. Is that um, continuous? Yeah. Is it differentiable? I have to think about that. What's the derivative over here? It's all positive, but it's less and less positive. So f prime here is like that. And over on this side, the derivative of x squared is 2x or a linear function. Um, so it's like that. So its derivative exists everywhere, and the derivative is continuous. So this is smooth. Um, for the first derivative. Let's think about though, if you were on some kind of roller coaster track or uh, driving or riding on a highway and it was curving like this and then all of a sudden curved like this, you would actually kind of have to jerk the wheel all of a sudden to make that transition. Let's think about, so we said f prime here was basically absolute value, but there'd be a two on it. So that's interesting. We just defined a function whose derivative is absolute value. If you know about antiderivatives, we just defined a function that is the antiderivative of absolute value of x, so that's kind of fun. Um, what about f double prime? Let's think about what's the derivative of this function, the absolute value function. Well, it's all zero, or it's all negative for a while, and then it jumps up to be all positive. Um, and so that's not continuous, right? Uh, you could call this a step function. It's not the unit step function or the heavy side step function because it's negative for a while. 
Um, so it's basically the sign function, S-I-G-N, um, but it's not continuous. So this original function f is not second derivative continuous, uh, not second derivative smooth. That if you were driving along this, your car wouldn't like, um, you, you, your car wouldn't jump instantaneously to a different place, that would be discontinuous. And it, there wouldn't be a sharp bend in if it was a if it was a, a train. It wouldn't there wouldn't be a sharp bend in the tracks, um, but you would get the acceleration would suddenly switch from one way to the other. Your head would get kind of knocked to the other side, whichever way it had been getting forced. Um, so it's smooth, but not smooth enough for passenger travel.